Okay, so we're going to work on attacking various attacks from the mount in no gear. Um, obviously, you don't have the gear available to you, so you have a lot less options using the cloth. But this particular setup, I'm going to use something that I actually learned from Hannah Gracie when he was teaching a mounted crossstroke uh, seminar, how to attack mounted crossstrokes, where we're isolating one arm to make it easier to feed in mounted crossstrokes. We're going to use it to go into a mounted triangle or a mounted arm lock. So, Assuming my training partner is good and they know what they're doing, when I'm mounted, my knees are generally under their elbows a little bit. For him to get out, he's going to start to bring an elbow in and start to turn a little bit onto his side. He's looking to get that escape. When he does the right thing trying to escape, I'm going to lift one knee and put that knee sort of in the pocket, sort of in that V of the elbow there. In effect, isolating that arm from the trap here. I don't mind what the other hand's doing, whether it's here or whether it's framing. It doesn't really change too much, but by taking this arm out of play, I'm going to come forwards and control the head and it sort of keeps his head off the ground, allows me to drive my hips forward to move his arm, step my other leg deep underneath his head and bring my hands down for base and I can lock up that mounted triangle there. So it's a nice easy entry to a mounted triangle that a lot of people don't see coming in. It's based off him doing the right thing. So he's flat on his back, I'm a little under his elbows here. He starts to try and escape by turning one side, getting one down. I lift the knee, trap the pocket catch the head here and I'm driving forwards from the hips and stepping my other leg underneath his head. So I'm going here, hands down nice and wide. So before I've connected triangle here, if Rich goes to the moves to the left or the right, I'm strong here. I have base. I haven't even worried about this piece yet. So from here I can either pull his head up or I can use my feet depending on what I want to do. And I don't want to give up that top position for the mounted triangle. I squeeze to my knees here to rotate and finish the triangle. 